welcome to Down the Shed, I'm your host Jason. In this kit, or this video rather, we're going to be making the Velleman MK113 Siren Sound Generator. It has a difficulty of 1. Now these are really good kits. They give really good basic but good instructions. I mean compared to some of the Chinese stuff, this is like an encyclopedia. So let's just follow the basics. So number one, resistors R1, R2, 1K, brown, black, red. Okay, so the Velleman MK113 Siren Sound Generator. So now that's getting in your way up there. Okay, so we'll put the big ass speaker in last because obviously my clamp's in the way of that. Let's get all these, we'll get these parts in first. So, back to the crib sheet. And we want brown, black, red, R1, R2, 1K. Quite kindly, the first two. These have got some sick, heavy leads on them. With me, there they are, in the ceramics. Uh, let's see how big these holes are. R1 is here. And R2 is down here. So let's have a look. I mean, what a fairly generous amount. I'd pretty much just bend these with tweezers, just. There you go, just take in the amount of slack that you want. Need to stop the video really, that was quite an easy one to find. So R1, let's have the gold at the bottom as I said. And now it's top. And a dab of blue tack. Looks like it's absolutely about to thunder down with rain. And gold at the bottom. And a bit of bluey tack just to hold them into place. Spinny over. Got this off uh, Amazon. It's an awesome little bit of kit. Not always uh, handy for some boards like this where the edges are uh, filling over into my workpiece holding area. There we go, nice bit of blob. But then I'll change to the helping hands on the workstation. I think it's soldering iron tips probably at it actually. Not really wanting to play ball anymore. Slip those. It's definitely going to come down in a minute. I'm sorry if that's creating glare on there. Let's try and have a look. It's a bit in it. Otherwise, it's dark. Pause. R three is a hundred K brown, black, yellow. They seem to put these all nicely in order. Again, like I say, these Velleman kits, Velman, Velleman, professionally put together little kits. The instructions are there. The parts are decent. You really shouldn't have any trouble with these. If you do, and I've had, to be fair, it's your fault, not the kit.
Well, there's a gas. With the blue tag, if you leave anything behind, just give it a dab with the cold piece, and it's really will just clean it up a treat. So R4 is a 47 yellow, purple, black. I guess that's a 47K. We can test these actually with the good old Banggood component tester kit which is this little puppy here this is a great kit, it's only about 12 quid and with a lot of these Chinese stuff this will get you out of a world of pain there you go, 46.5 ohms so that's a 47 ohm but yeah, great little bit of kit that well worth investing the 12 quid in and you get to do a project happy days I might actually um, well, there he is. I might actually start knocking some of them out on eBay build them and sell them little glassy type diodes and what I believe is a shock key diode the big black plasticky one so diode watch the polarity uh, Zeno diode so I think the little glass one is a Zeno diode okay Google show me a shock key diode Here's a summary from Wikipedia. The Schottky diode is a semiconductor diode formed by the junction of a semiconductor with a metal. OK, Google. Show me a Zener diode. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. A Zener diode is a special type of diode designed to reliably allow current to flow backwards when a certain set reverse voltage is reached. Right, so we're looking for D1. That must be Zener diode one. Yeah, ZD1 and D1. So we want the little line to go with the shaded area. And we'll do the Zener diode at the same time. Giving it quite a length at the end of the leads. Bearing in mind that they've given a little black band on the shaded end. They've given it a lot of uh, generous amounts of, you can see this, I don't know if this will, good three or four mil at each end of the component now. Give it a scrub, pop it in the flux, give it a scrub. I've got two types of scrubby stuff. And there's a little pot with a goldy brass one. That came with the iron, this one. What I like to do is use this old milk jug thing with a load of uh, dishwasher ones bought from Tesco. It's important you keep your iron tip as clean as possible. It will so much aid your soldering. I might just reflow that. If it will. Right, 
more than a dab of flux on that. Nicely. Right, so that's the diodes and the resistors in. Let's see if we get the glare off. Next, we want the trimmer and then the IC socket. So it's a 250k variable. Which will be this little puppy here, the RV1 resistor variable, I guess. I'm confused as to why there's three holes there, and there are three pins on the other side. So that obviously goes in there like that. And it does tell me to put that in next. So the IC goes there. Electrolytic capacitor C1 is there. Transistor T1 is down there. Dip switch SW2 DP3. Okay, it's here. So let's get the uh, variable resistor in. Chinese kit, this would be knackered by now. I'm just going to want a dab of blue tack. That's good enough. Electrolytic capacitor, 100 EUF. Remember, these are polarity sensitive, so the hatch side always has the minus on it for the arrows. The long leg is the plus. These are critically polarity dependent. I'm going to dip the first one in, hold it. Not like that though. You see, this is the uh, importance of the laziness of using the blue tack. held in place now anyway. Right. 
Right, well, if we're following, I was going to do it anyway, the transistor, which is a BC337-25R4E. It means something to somebody out there. I do like it when they put it in like a tripod. It holds it in so so nicely. Right, remember flat side, flat side. You don't want to get the. I think it's the emitter or base and collector the wrong way round anyway. I think the emitter's the middle one, isn't it? You don't want to hold the heat on too long, you damage the pads or the tracks. Well, in the picture, the on side goes to the outer of the board, so we'll do it that way round. Got a little shoulder for this one. I do have six, uh, point six and point eight mil, but this is the end of the point eight that I bought originally. Has done many kits successfully and failed many kits, but it is pretty good solder. I'll get it off Amazon. It's not that expensive. It's Now all we've got left really is the speaker, the switch and the battery. So it's going to have to come out of this little holder. Well I'm guessing that's just going to sit in there like that and take masses of solder. the thick stuff there we go yeah, see that but there's three nice big blodules of solder on that contact free good out and the switch is now quite securely in place so it's the speaker fairly straightforward you can't really get this wrong two really wide holes two really narrow holes as he drops it there we go so that's the speaker mounted and now we just have to solder it in Use the mill solder again, there's nothing intricate here. Let's 
feed it in there, let it flow. I have a second uh, soldering iron holder to one side that I use more. So now it's just a battery really. And then we plug the IC in. So without bolting that on, let's have a look in the drawer. We should have a working siren sound generator. Or we should have if we put the IC in. Now what I like to do with these is just sit them on a flat surface and just give them a gentle press in. Because the legs are never where they're supposed to be. Or if you've got a small one like this, you can pretty much do it in your fingers. Alright, notch. Let's get the notches the right way round. Right, let's try again. And there you have it. Working siren sound generator. And let's try and find that little screwdriver. Ow, that was hot. Okay, so let's have a look what the others are. Please siren three zeros right so zero zero one is ambulance it's not corresponding to the numbers on the dip switch oh right okay one two three so one is Zero, three is right. Zero, zero, zero. So one, two, three is the zeros. One, zero, zero is a fire engine. Zero one zero is a machine gun. And zero zero one is the ambulance. And that's it. She's all done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video. See you again soon in another one.